So it is Easter Sunday and we are hitting the road for a week of camping for spring break. We've had Easter dinner with the family and uh, now it's time to head west. We are headed to Louisiana. So several years ago, a, a very good friend of mine had emailed me a link to a, a campground and he said, hey, you need to check this place out. And it's in Louisiana. And I looked at it, looked at the website, the place looked amazing wasn't really something we could do right then but I saved the email and this year when my wife and I were trying to decide where do we want to go for spring break I remembered that email and so the name of the campground is Reunion Lake RV Resort it's in Ponchatoula Louisiana and we are headed there for a week of camping they have all kind of amenities which uh, I'll share with you later uh, that we're really looking forward to experiencing and we'll be close enough only an hour away from downtown New Orleans gonna head in there we got some things scheduled uh, and, and ticket purchased for some activities uh, to take take part in in New Orleans so stick around and I uh, hope you enjoy So what of the real allures to this Pacific campground and camping in Louisiana was not only the amenities that they offered locally at the RV resort, but it was also the close proximity to New Orleans and the opportunity to really enjoy that city. My wife and kids had never been there before. So one of the first things we scheduled was an airboat tour through the bayou with Raging Cajun Airboat Tours. And I highly recommend their service if you're in that area. Uh, that was very educational. On top of the fact that we got to see lots of wildlife, beautiful scenery, but they really went above and beyond to really pass on a lot of good information to people who, who may not be familiar with the wildlife and the ecosystem there in, in the swamp. And he would sit on the front of the boat and answer a lot of questions. And he really made it fun, kicking the airboat into kind of high speed for us a few times to make it fun, especially for the kids. But I highly recommend their service and uh, it was a lot of fun. So we're at Reunion Lake RV Resort and we are kicking it in the Lazy River. Uh, this campground has a lot of cool amenities. The uh, girls have been able to do the inflatable obstacle course out on the lake that they have. Uh, and now we're taking advantage of the Lazy River. Uh, the Lazy River does have an adult only section that has a swim up tiki bar. They have cool music going as you can hear. They have uh, uh, poolside cabanas that you can rent for the day. We're gonna wait for this music. You know I will be coming home. You can rent a poolside cabana for the day, um, and then they have also have another adult-only pool uh, that has another swim-up tiki bar, and then they have a family-friendly pool that has splash pads and and things like that. So. A lot of amenities um, as far as the water features go and uh, it's pretty cool we're really having a blast so far I highly recommend so one of the other things we got to schedule and make reservations for was for us to visit the Audubon Zoo located in downtown New Orleans my youngest has never been to any zoo before so we thought this would be a good opportunity and if you've never been to the Audubon Zoo it's really great and we feel like you you might get a little closer to the animals in some of the exhibits than you do at some zoos, specifically Zoo Atlanta, which we've been to before. And it was great, the kids loved it. I will warn you, if you go, some of the exhibits are closed, specifically some of the shows, and they usually have a swamp train, they call it. That's closed. But all of the animal exhibits, where you can just kind of walk along and, and read about the animals and see them out in their habitats, those were all open. And it was really a great experience, and uh, I, I feel like the kids especially really enjoyed it. So we certainly didn't feel like a trip to New Orleans would be complete without at least a quick visit to the French Quarter. 
Now, with the kids along, um, we really wanted to keep it family friendly, so uh, we didn't really go to Bourbon Street or, or any of the more adult focused areas. But we did, uh, we did get to go to the original French Market restaurant, which, uh, by the way, the food was fantastic. It came recommended to me from uh, my boss at work, and uh, we really enjoyed it. The food was spectacular. And then uh, we did drive through the French Quarter. We crossed over Bourbon Street, and we got to see kind of the unique architecture of that area. And, um, of course, no visit to the French Quarter would be complete without stopping by Cafe Du Monde and getting some beignets. And uh, the kids really enjoyed that experience as well, I think. And it's, it's something we had to check off the list if we were gonna go to New Orleans. We had to visit the French Quarter, and I'm glad we did. So one of the things I wanted to point out about Reunion Lake RV Resort, and look, different people look for different things in their camping experience. So if you're looking for reconnecting with nature, kind of camping in the woods, so to speak, this may not be the place for you, okay? Everything's paved. It's, some people would describe it as a parking lot for campers. You know, but if you're there for the amenities and, and you're not gonna spend a whole lot of time at your actual campsite anyways, then I think you could really enjoy it. The only drawback is there are a lot more adult themed activities at this campground specifically the the adult only bar and or swimming pool and swim up tiki bar they had another tiki bar located at the lazy river and that's all fun you know i'm not saying uh, don't, don't have your fun while you're there but what you might want to know is it kind of leaves some of the kids in the campground unsupervised and i think we'd all agree unsupervised kids don't always make the best decisions so there was some some behavior that had to be corrected by some of the workers there that we witnessed several times nothing too bad i just want to make you aware of that Okay, so review time. Reunion Lake RV Resort in Ponchatoula, Louisiana. Overall, I think uh, I speak for my family. We give it a very high rating. Highly recommend if you're up for a drive to Louisiana. Um, we really enjoyed the park. We were there all week. So, uh, a few things we'll talk about. Well, amenities. This park is loaded with amenities really fun stuff for the whole family especially for the young young folks um, they got uh, a, a splash pad family pool they have a lazy river they have an adult only pool that was also like a jacuzzi section there um, and then they also had a very large playground uh, that, would, that seemed very very well maintained uh, very safe they had a putt-putt course which if you've done much camping and you run across campgrounds that have a miniature golf or putt putt course, typically it's kind of okay, no big deal, just you know, easy little holes. But this one was legit, um, and I found out after we'd been there that it's very new. It used, they used to have one located at a different area of the campground, which now they are expanding and adding cabins and more campsites. So they built a new putt putt course, and it's legit. It was a lot of fun. We played that one night just kind of on a whim we'll row by and hey let's check it out so everything i just mentioned was included in the price for the camping so for value wise you get a lot of amenities um, just for your your price for camping which is great and they also have an inflatable obstacle course they called it out on their lake 
which was a lot of fun. And not a bad price, really, for what you get. Um, it's like $100 for the whole week, uh, which is not bad considering how much fun I saw my daughters having out there all week. I will say they should do a better job on the website of making it crystal clear that that does cost extra and is not included in your price to camp because we were a little surprised by that. I don't mind paying for it. You know, they had, they had a lot of fun. It was worth it. But you should know when you're coming out here to budget for that. And it wasn't very clear on the website that that would cost extra. So just something to think about. Um, as far as the restrooms and the facilities, uh, the entire campground, everything very well maintained. The restrooms were very clean. Um, seemed fairly new or updated recently. Um, the, uh, air, all the landscape, everything very well manicured, looked very nice. There was no trash anywhere or anything like that. Kind of unfortunate they were doing construction and um, expanding the campground while we were there. So we had a little bit of noise, but it really wasn't bad. And of course they didn't do it early in the morning or late at night, anything like that. And it, it didn't really bother us too much. Um, I would recommend a golf cart when you're there, especially if you're not very close to uh, all the water amenities because it, it can be a hike if you're going back and forth all day but we we really enjoyed it and like i said i highly recommend it's reunion lake rv resort you can uh, i'll put the website uh, in the description of the video below and i uh, hope you enjoyed a little window into our spring break trip in louisiana